Portugal made a revolution in 1974, 25th April 74. That was a revolution that put an end to a, a, dictator, a dictatorial regime and to the colonial empire. This revolution has opened the Portuguese society to democracy, human rights, equality, but the, the colonial question was not really faced. And all these years over, what we see in the Portuguese society is still the myth that the Portuguese colonialism was a mission of civilization. The need to discolonize the mentalities is to say, to accept that racism in Portugal exists, that there, it, there was no such a thing as a civil, civilizational mission in the Portuguese empire. That this idea of a, that the empire was a force for civilization was a justification given by uh, the colonialists to their colonial oppression. I think that we live in Europe and in the world a very difficult moment for liberal democracies. In fact, I think that the only form of democracy that exists is liberal democracy. That is this combination of the right to vote with the rule of law and human rights. And the liberal democracies are under stress. We have seen a wave of democratization since the Portuguese Revolution of 74. First, you had transition to democracy in Portugal, Spain and Greece. After you had in Latin America in the 80s. After you had the transition to democracy in Central and Eastern Europe. And today you see a wave of autocratization. More countries becoming illiberal. Autocracy, followed by Yeltsin after the end of the Cold War, were very detrimental for, from a social perspective, were based on neoliberal ideas. And this has destroyed the hope for a Russian democracy. And the Putin came to power, and you start there a process of autocratization of Russia. This is now happening all over the world. You have seen Bolsonaro coming to power in Brazil. You see the extreme right even in the Iberian Peninsula. And we need to protect our democracies. And to protect our democracies, we need to give to the citizens their rights. We need to mobilize the civil society. Those who are more in danger from this wave of autocratization, because this wave of autocratization is also a movement for where the old ideas of sexism, of discrimination against women, uh, of racism, are in their agenda. When you see the debate in France with Marine Le Pen, or you see Vox in Spain, or Chega in Portugal, they believe on male dominance, and they are racists. You need to empower the civil society, as we have seen in the United States where, where, with the movement Black Lives Matter, where you have seen this has contributed, the movement Black Lives Matter, has contributed to the defeat of Trump in the elections. So we need to mobilize the European civil society, we need to hear their voices, and we need to integrate that in the struggle for a democratic future. And the European Union should play a very important role on that, because the European Union today is perceived as a technocratic construction, a construction that is not close to the people, where the citizens have not a voice, where the European Parliament is weak and not very representative. We cannot change the European government. And there is the idea in the European citizenship, or in the European people in general, that the European Union is not a democratic construction. So the idea of transforming the European Union in a democratic construction, giving a perspective, we call it an utopia, of a democratic Europe, supranational, is the way, I think, essential to fight the extreme right and to give again a hope to democracy, to what I would call a democratic renaissance. Until now, those who were of African descendants had no voice in, in, in Portugal. Uh, they didn't participate in the public space. They were not members of the parliament. And now we had an extraordinary transformation in Portugal. For the first time in the Portuguese history, you have this association of black descendants that have a voice, have elected people to the Portuguese parliament, participate in the public space. At the same time, they fight for their rights. They contribute to this cultural transformation, the of mentalities in Portugal, that is absolutely essential.